assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so the topic that we are going to discuss it is about the liquids miscible and immiscible liquids so we will discuss the two types of liquids the first one is miscible miscible means the liquid that is soluble so the liquids that can mix to form a homogeneous solutions they are known as miscible liquids for example we just take the two liquids the number one liquid we have the ethanol and the second one liquid here we just take the water molecule when they both get mixed we just see that it forms a homogeneous mixture it's mean these two liquids just get dissolved and they form a homogeneous mixture that homogeneous mixture is having uniform composition throughout and here we have just dissolved ethanol whose formula is C2H5OH plus water molecule and we gain this type of solution that is homogeneous and uniform as these two liquids get dissolved into each other so these are known as miscible liquids why they are called as miscible liquids because the both liquids have same nature and they easily get dissolved into each other because both are polar in nature and we have already studied the guiding rule which is like dissolve like that the polar will get dissolved into the polar on the other hand immiscible liquids that do not form a homogeneous mixture these are known as immiscible liquids for example here we just take oil and we take water when both get mixed then we just see that it is converted into two different layers the layer number one and the layer number two top layer and the bottom layer so as these do not get dissolved so these liquids are basically known as immiscible liquids and what is the reason behind that because the nature of both liquids is different the one liquid which is water it is polar in nature and the liquid oil we have it is non polar in nature so the polar and the non polar will not get dissolved into each other because they are not like and not according to the rule that is like dissolve like we have already learned only the solute that is having similar structure or similar bondings they only interact with one another and they will only get dissolved into one another we have a lot of examples in our daily life that are related to the miscibility and immiscibility so let's have a look on the examples here we have the first one example which is the carbonated water or any carbonated drink when we add it into the orange juice we just see that we again gain a solution that is homogeneous homogeneous mean whose composition is same throughout and it is looking like a uniform composition and it is making a homogeneous mixture so it's mean carbonated drinks and orange juice are known as miscible liquids because they both get dissolved into each other it's mean the bonding between them is same the bonding is same and they both the particles of carbonated water and orange juice get interact with one another and in this way they get dissolved into each other and forming a solution on the other hand when we have other type which is the solution of oil plus water here you can see that we have the oil particles and the water particles separate from each other it's mean both these are not soluble into each other and these 
आर नोन एज इमिसिबल लिक्विड्स बिकॉज देर बॉन्डिंग नेचर इज डिफरेंट ऑन द अदर हैंड वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी जस्ट डिजोल्व बेनजीन प्लस इथानोल they also do not get dissolved into each other because here the benzene it is non polar in nature and the ethanol is polar in nature so you guys also must have the simple examples or try to dissolve different liquids into one another and just check it which one is miscible and which one is immiscible the last example is of the vinegar which is the acetic acid basically it get dissolved in water it's mean both water and the vinegar are polar in nature so you guys must remember that all the things that get dissolved in water all are polar because water is a polar substance in nature and it only dissolve the substances that are polar on the other hand the water do not get dissolved in the non polar substances and we have a lot of non polar solvents we have carbon tetrachloride ccl4 we have chloroform it is also non polar in nature we have gasoline we have oil these are the non polar solvents and they also just get dissolved into the non polar solutes so both are non polar soluble in non polar and polar substances get dissolved in only polar solute and solvents so this is all about today's lecture about the solubility i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and i will get back to you guys soon the next topic that we will discuss it is the introduction to the electrochemistry so we will start the new chapter of grade 9 which is electrochemistry or related to the oxidation and reduction for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day